It's Maseroth watch time. Welcome back, family. Let's decode the signs for the escape of the bride. This will be part seven. Six months of myrrh. Six months of perfumes. We're going back to the book of Esther. And we are doing a decode um, on the six months of myrrh and the six months of perfumes. We finally have the last pieces of the puzzle. And we're going to present those um, to the body. I had to go back and do all of the research and... Uh, if you didn't already know, the last week <clears throat> for me has been crazy at best. <laughs> I'll just put it to you that way. I had a friend that ended up having some medical complications. And I had to rush her around to the hospitals and try to get care. All the while, I didn't have a place to stay, so I was sleeping in the car on the back seat and crunching up into a, a seat in the hospital. And I didn't really sleep for four days. And uh, when I got back, um, I have a broken spine. My L2 uh, is crushed about ni over 90% broken into five pieces and um, one of the most important parts for me is being able to sleep correctly and it put me in a, to a position where I could, literally couldn't move and um, I was really unable to do anything from the pain and so that kept me from being able to do videos. Um, I'm finally somewhat recovered. And so I wanted to get back to presenting this information tied to the escape of the bride. Um, in our last video, we presented the seven-year... Um, for the bride, Leia, and uh, as you know, there is seven years for Leia, and then there's seven years for Rachel, and we can see that in the codes presented to us, as we showed in the last video with the anointing of the horns. Um, we can also see that as part of the code because that was eight days. And in this code, we are being presented uh, seven years plus one year for the preparation of the bride. And so I actually found these codes written in the stars. And so in the last video, we presented the actual seven years. And now what we're doing is we're going back and we're presenting <clears throat> the beginning of the code in Esther tied to the six months of myrrh and the six months of perfumes. So... The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump over, excuse me, fam, um, I'm still having to do this with my, with my phone. Um, I should have the rest of this stuff worked out soon so that I can do it correctly, but uh, we're, we're making do with what we have. Um, so here we are, um, Esther 2.12. Uh, now, when each maid's turn was come to go into King Ahasuerus, after she had been twelve months according to the law regarding the women, 
For so were the days of their purifications accomplished, that is, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with aromatic odors and oils for women. Uh, now, some uh, Bibles present this as perfumes, and in the, in the last six months, uh, it is uh, perfumes and oils. And so we wanted to present that first. That is the code that we are discussing. We are looking for this code to be presented to us associated with our wedding signs. And uh, we have it. So let's go back to Stellarium. And let's look at how these codes are presented to us. Now, if you remember from my Escape of the Bride Part 3, we were talking about how we found all of these signs associated with the Equilux. And in two... Excuse me. In 2016, we found all of the wedding signs. And then again in 2023, we find the wedding signs on the Equilux. Actually, the eve of the Equilux uh, after after the Equilux. So on, on, the, on the 17th at midnight is when we found most of the signs. We did find signs for the 16th also but most of them aligned on that evening um so from the equilux to equilux is uh the sign that i was looking for and so i did not have these signs uh, originally until I went back to my Kadesh Culture channel and I was watching one of my videos associated with Esther and it reminded me of this, this purification code. And so I wanted to go see if I could find that in the heavens, and I found it, and I was just unable to present it last week. So we're getting to that now. Um, forgive me for the delay, but we're going to show you now in the heavens how all of this is gloriously manifested in the stars it's just mind-blowing how all this aligns there's no way any of this is by chance it's all a perfect design and uh, it's all playing out uh, unfortunately we have tools like Stellarium and other star programs for us to to be able to present these things to the body of Messiah because these are very powerful signs that allow us to see exactly what is happening in the heavens and what we should be expecting to happen here on the earth. So let's move forward. What we are looking at here is... On 3-8-2016, we have a solar eclipse in the constellation of Aquarius. And um, if you go back to my Kadesh Culture channel, you will be able to find this associated with the Esther Codes. I found that, I believe it was 2020, I found a similar code. And it was associated with the eclipses. 
and because it's associated with eclipses, it would be a lunar sign and not a solar count. And so what we're going to show you is um, how in the heavens were presented this six months of, this would be six lunar months, six months of myrrh and six months of of sweet perfumes. So, here we are in Aquarius. We are shown some signs. <clears throat> Let's pull up the date again. We're looking at 3-8. We see asteroid groom and Venus. Now, this alone right here can be seen as the groom and the bride. Because Venus has a dual aspect, it can be seen as Messiah. It can, oh, we can see this as Messiah also. But it can also be seen as the groom and the feminine aspect, which is the bride of Christ. And then we also have Mercury, which is also always a sign of the message and then we have Neptune, which is a sea sign. And this can be seen multiple ways. But the way we're going to see it here is the sea has been presented to us in scriptures as the people. And so to me, this is a message to the people. Or you can look at it as the church. Um, but I believe it goes deeper than that. This is a message to the entire, all of humanity. And what we're looking at is with an eclipse, we're looking at the alignment of the bride and the bridegroom. The sun as the bridegroom and the moon as always as the bride when they come together it is a wedding sign so we're seeing a wedding sign with the groom the bride and the groom the message to the people and this i believe based on what i have been presented to in the heavens is the start of the six months of myrrh. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come to... Forgive me, family. We're going to come to the six months of sweet oils... And uh, this will just take one second. Let's scroll in a little more. And get this just a little closer. Well, we'll just put it on. Um, we'll just bring it here. That's close enough. Because this doesn't really matter. From from Bandon, Oregon, this would not have been a eclipse. But this is nonetheless an eclipse day of September the 1st. 2016 you can go and look this up now we have the bride and the bridegroom in leo six lunar months later and this would be the end of the six months of myrrh and this would be the beginning 
of the six months of sweet perfumes and oils. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ending cycle. Give me just a minute, fam. We're going to get this pulled up. Get as close as we can. Again, this was not a solar eclipse in Bandon, Oregon. But nonetheless, it is an eclipse. And you can go look this up for yourself. We're looking at February 26th, 2017. We're back in Aquarius. And we see the same similar signs. This is Neptune which is the sea in the water stream. And we see the message. Um, I did not check to see if groom was still there. So now we have groom is now with the fish in Pisces. And so we don't have groom there, but again, this is one year later and we are close to a year later. We are seeing the sun and the moon, the bride and the bridegroom back in Aquarius for another solar eclipse. This would be the end of the six months of sweet perfumes, accomplishing the entire 12 lunar months for the purification of the bride. And what was very interesting to me is that this added to the seven years put us at a maximum time frame of, we'll just call it March, that uh, our ending can't go past March because all of these signs... Uh, came to us from the the uh, three eight and uh, three nine. It was it was a three eight three nine, depending on where you are on the planet. So if we look at uh, March eighth or ninth as our farthest out point. And then we also see that in 2017, this is happening on, let's pull that back up really quick. This is happening on the 26th of February. So it is before the March point. We're looking at our codes uh, all being followed through um, until the February March period and then these codes end and our time is accomplished and so we're going to break this down into two different parts um, I want to make these a little quicker and easier to absorb um, what we're looking at here is 
the the final 12 months of preparation for the bride ending on 226 2017 and if you look back at the year 2017 everything lines up we have the great american eclipse and we have the revelation 12 sign and 2017 to 2024 is exactly seven years so we have our escape codes Everything is lining up. Now what we're going to do in the next part two is we are going to show you the codes in the heaven for this year and how that is associated with the end. So we'll come back in another part and we will decode the stars for the second bride much love family thanks for watching